Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you my personal top 15 Black Widow Chroma effects that I have on my computer right now. Some of these I got from the Razer website and some of them I made by myself. So I'm just going to be going through the list and talking a little bit about each one. At the end of this video I'll have a small tutorial to show you how to import these profiles into your Razer Synapse. At number 15 on the list we have Absolute Zero. I did not make this effect. I found it off of a YouTube video, and uh, it's a very subtle effect, it kind of looks like uh, ice fire, and you can see there's a very slight ripple effect, white, when you press a key. And I really quite enjoy using this just for um, regular use of the keyboard. At number 14 we have Checkers Black and Yellow. This is a, an effect that I made by myself. Uh, it's kind of just like two overlapping checker effects, and it looks really cool. The timings are kind of weird. You can see there's a, a really slow black ripple on the keyboard, and if you press a bunch of keys, it looks really cool once the keys start to uh, illuminate again, kind of in a random pattern. At number 13, we have Crystalline. Now this I got from another YouTube video by the same guy who made uh, Absolute Zero at the number 15 spot. This one does have a really short white reactive, uh, as you can see, when you press keys. And uh, it's just kind of, you know, more of a subtle effect, and I really like it. At number 12, we have Diamond Thing. This was an effect that I made by myself. It's kind of just like a wave, but it goes inward in a diamond shape. It's hard to see, but there is a little bit of a white reactive effect when you press the keys. Now this is the first effect I've downloaded from the Razer website. At number 11 we have Don't Know. I don't know why it's called that, it's just called Don't Know. You can see there's no effect when you press the keys and it's just kind of really cool. There's two waves going on top of each other and uh, it makes for some really cool effects. Now at the number 10 spot we have Double Rainbow. This was also taken from the Razer website. And uh, it just looks really cool how there's kind of like two overlapping rainbows that go into one another. At the number 9 spot we have, ha ha we have Hacking the Matrix. Uh, this effect is really neat. It kind of, you know, it's, it's based around the matrix and you can see there's this ripple effect on it. And it just looks really cool and it's good to impress your friends with. At number 8 on the list, the here's another effect that I made. It's called Over the Hills. It was kind of inspired by a heart monitor at first, and I just kind of built upon that idea. There's no effects when you press any keys, but uh, yeah, there's three waves involved in this, and uh, it looks really cool. At the number seven spot is a really cool effect that I got from the Razer website, but actually altered myself. This is Pac-Man. You can see there's a ghost on the right, and Pac-Man eating some dots in the center. There's actually two versions of this. Uh, both of them I altered. Here's the second version. The dot is kind of more zoomed in and moving on the second version. I'm not really sure which one I like more, but you can download both of them and decide for yourself. At the number six spot we have Rainbow Madness. This was also from the Ra Razer website. Similar to Double Rainbow, but this one has a ripple and it's a lot slower and more controlled looking. You can actually see individual rainbow waves in this one. And at the number 5 spot, one of my personal favorites, this is Red Black Pulse, also from the Razer website. Uh, it has a really cool ripple effect, it goes white and then black right away, and it's just very dim red. And it's, it's very flashy and cool, and it looks awesome. At the number 4 spot we have Scatterbrain, also from the Razer website. You can see it's kind of like a subtle effect, not very too noticeable, but where this profile really shines is in the ripple. It has a really slow ripple, but it's not a traditional ripple. You can see it kind of scatters all around the keyboard. I guess the name Scatterbrain, and it looks really cool once you press a bunch of keys at once. At the number three spot, we have Scorching Zero. Now this is kind of like a mix of fire and ice. You can see on the left is fire, the right is ice, and there is also a really cool ripple effect on here where it kind of merges the two across the keyboard. And uh, yeah, this was from a YouTube video made by the first guy who did the first profile in this video. At the number two spot we have Chromium Blue. This was also taken from a YouTube video made by the guy who did 15 and 13 in this video. Now you can see it's kind of just like a gray wave, very subtle, with uh, this really nice slow blue ripple that goes over the whole keyboard and it slowly fades away. It's really fun to use just for regular use of the keyboard. And at number one we have 
the lines profile this one was made by myself it's just called lines and uh, yeah it's pretty self-explanatory it's a cool effect two lines that reverse each other okay so once you have the profiles downloaded from the link in the description it'll all be combined into one file you're gonna want to come over to Razer Synapse make sure it's on this screen keyboard customize and select Razer Black Widow Chroma you're gonna click these three dots click import and then choose browse click this little folder right here and navigate till you find this file it should be maybe in your downloads folder you'll find the top 15 Black Widow Chroma effects and just hit open and that will import them right into your Razer Synapse and you can use all 15 effects so thank you for watching this video um, leave a like and a comment and subscribe bye